welcome to the best studies in today's video we are going to start new chapter of class 9th science second which is energy flow in ecosystem so let's get started so what is ecosystem let's try to find out the answer so there are major two component on earth what are they two things simple biotic and abiotic biotic which means living abiotic which means non living let's see the definition of biotic these are called as living or biotic component examples animals and plants now what are abiotic let's see the definition these are called as non living or abiotic component example air light water and soil so these living which is biotic and non living which is abiotic are continuously interacting with each other now let's see some examples then you will get clear idea about this concept so let's take the example of seed which is biotic and that biotic or living that is a seed which is going to germinate in soil only and the soil is abiotic so here we can see the relation or interaction between seed which is living and soil which is non living so let's talk about the next example we us human who are biotic we breathe in oxygen and that oxygen is abiotic and we gives out carbon dioxide which is abiotic so here also we can say interaction between biotic and abiotic let's see the third example sunflower sunflower as you know biotic living which moves with the direction of sun and sun is abiotic so here is the interaction so let's talk about the fourth and last example which is lotus as you know lotus is biotic which blooms when the sun rays which is the abiotic falls on it so here as well we can see the interaction between biotic and abiotic so what are the ecosystem we can find the definition of ecosystem now so ecosystem is in ecosystem there is the interaction between biotic and abiotic so interaction between biotic which is living and abiotic which is non living is called ecosystem so i think it's clear now the earth is very large ecosystem so as you know living organism depend upon nutrition they need nutrition they totally depends upon nutrition so let's talk about the plant we call plant as producers why we call plant as a producers because plant produce their own food by the process of photosynthesis so plant becomes producers so after that here comes consumers who are consumers consumers are the ones who consume food which are animals and last but not the least decomposer who are decomposer who use to decompose the food and dead bodies of plant and animal as well they are bacteria and fungi so we'll talk about the types of consumer in the second part of this video till then take care stay tuned goodbye